you have a thermostatic expansion valve on a single stage air conditioning or heat pump system equipped with R32, you want to make sure that this is controlling the superheat and keeping it around say 8 to 12 degrees. So let's take a look at that vapor line. At 116.3 psi, we convert it to a saturated temperature of 38 degrees in the middle of the indoor coil. Now we're also taking a temperature measurement on the suction line where the refrigerant's exiting the indoor coil and traveling back to the outdoor unit. So there we measure a temperature of 48 degrees. So 48 minus 38 is 10 degrees of total superheat. And so that's within say eight to 12 degrees of superheat that the thermostatic expansion valve should be holding the superheat at. You gotta remember that the thermostatic expansion valve cannot do its job unless you have proper airflow and the proper amount of refrigerant in the system. If you have no subcooling, that means you have no liquid entering the TXV, it's not gonna be able to hold the superheat steady and it does that also by the pressure measurements, the pressure at the head, the pressure at the external equalizer, and the pressure of the spring pressure on the bottom. And to learn more about HVAC in regards to TXVs, charging, troubleshooting, and a lot more, make sure to check out our new second edition book, available over at acservicetech.com and on Amazon.